All-Star. My inspiration has been Derek White. He doesn't get a lot of credit for what he does. That's, that's who I want to be. Here comes Washington. Stopped by White. A whiteout. Should be 2024 All-Star Derek White ranks number one by far on the best team in the association in plus minus, a number that ranks second in the association just behind Nikola Jokic. White also leads the Celtics in box plus minus, offensive box plus minus, win shares, and value over replacement. Executing under pressure, the Bald Mamba is Boston's leader in clutch points with outstanding efficiency in this scenario. The breakout season from the Colorado Buffalo has been nothing less than astounding, and it's interesting how Brad Stevens made two trades this past offseason in hopes to find Boston's third option next to Tatum and Brown, only for D. White to fill that role through internal development. The domino effect that allowed Boston to trade for Derek two years ago, what's made D. White's career season such a popular narrative, and more is on its way. On this channel, your boy D-Flow breaks down the most intriguing NBA stories, teams, and players on a regular basis. However, according to YouTube's analytics, just 10.5% of you watching right now are subscribed. Please subscribe and splash notifications if you haven't already. Thank you the world for supporting my channel. Allowing the Celtics to trade for White just under two years ago was the result of a domino effect amidst GM Brad Stevens' roster overhaul around Tatum and Brown. In the summer of 2021, Reacquiring franchise staple up front Al Horford from OKC for his second career tenure as a Celtic took trading away Kemba Walker and a first round pick, which turned out to be Alperin Shengun. Of course, Shengun was then moved from OKC to Houston, but the key domino effect from that trade was Boston receiving Moses Brown in it. Because a month after the Celtics traded for Horford and Moses, the Mavericks would then deal for Moses, giving Boston Josh Richardson in return. Richardson would be kept around for 44 games throughout the 2021-22 season, where he was a 40% three-point shooter. Ultimately for Jay Rich though, he would most notably be used as bait come the 2022 trade deadline, being packaged with 2019 Celtic draft pick Romeo Langford, a 2022 first round pick which turned out to be Blake Wesley, and a 2028 pick swap to which the Spurs would receive in exchange for Derek White. Making Derek's career year in 2023-24 so noteworthy is that it's happening for a Boston team with the best record in the association, who are still undefeated at home nearly midway through the season. Obviously, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Chris Stapps Porzingis, Drew Holiday, plus Joe Mazzula and his coaching staff deserve a high volume of credit for that being the case. Mazzula's preached unselfishness all year, and each member of this league best starting five have been tremendous at instilling that message throughout the team. On the topic of Missoula and for trusting White next to another point guard in Holiday in the starting five, as well as for keeping the C's chemistry and on-court system flowing, he's been a big part to Derek White's development. I don't think enough people are talking about how among coaches with at least 100 games under their belts, Joe's monster 72.8% winning percentage is currently the highest of all time. He, the coaching staff, and White being on the same page can't be overlooked in terms of factors contributing to the former Spurs' success. In terms of Derek's former coach in San Antonio being Greg Popovich, the five-time champion Pop said post-game after taking the L to Derek that he couldn't be more proud of a player, however stating that when Derek first arrived in the association, he didn't think White believed he belonged in the NBA. White's humbleness showed up in the fact that he acknowledged his former coach appropriately, stating regarding Pop, quote, he just kept pushing me. Obviously, in my first year, I was in the G League, which allowed me to figure out the NBA game. From there, he continued to push me to add that confidence. I used to be in the weight room, and he'd walk past me and just say, you belong, and walk out. Just little things like that are cool to hear from the greatest coach of all time." End quote. On a separate note, current starting five running mate Chris Stapps Porzingis detailed regarding White recently, quote, I didn't realize how good D. White was. He makes the right play all the time, and that's the perfect teammate you want." End quote. Adding to that Tingus Pingus remark, and signifying that he's a top positional defender, Derek's 1.3 blocks per game are the most at the point guard spot by a mile this season. Additionally, White's field goal percentage, free throw percentage, and steals per game are all at least top 7 among all point guards. Currently obliterating attackers on defense, White swatted 15 shots over his last 7 outings, ninth most in the entire NBA. D. White's probably the best guard shot blocker since D. Wade. 
Among players this season with at least 25 games under their belt, Derek's 86.2% winning percentage is the best in the association. Celtic fans will already forever cherish White's legacy after his season-saving putback at the buzzer last spring in Miami in Game 6, while they ultimately lost that series in 7 to the Heat, with White becoming a whole new player over the 2023 summer. Plus, with the additions of KP and Drew, the Celtics seem poised to take back the East title and ultimately claim banner number 18. White won't be an unrestricted free agent until the end of the 2024-25 campaign, but he's likely on par to receive a hefty extension in 2024 summer from GM wizard Brad Stevens. From his breaking down of the defense, to his upbeat body language, to his rangy, springy shot blocking prowess, by the eye test, the man's an all-star. Meanwhile, the numbers portray White as a franchise savior, as since acquiring Derek on February 10th of 2022, the Celtics have posted a 102-35 record, that's the best in the league, and over that span since White was traded to Boston, both the Celtics' offensive and defensive rating with Derek on the floor also equates to the best mark among all teams. Pick and rolls like this one with Luke Cornett signify White's handle on a string, comfortability drawing gravity, and strong reactivity to drop coverage defense. Another Cornett pick and roll this time sees White signal from a high loop to cut back door, who set up with a perfect bounce entry for the reverse. Defensively, watch White read this Siakam kick out well before it happens, baiting the pass by staying off Trent Jr. just enough before blitzing the passing lane for the interception and pick six. This high IQ play sees White pump fake on Siakam to get him jumping, then pump fake on Pirtle to get him jumping while simultaneously whipping a mid-air kick out to Holiday. Back to the pick and roll, where a double screen with Pritchard and Kada sees White draw the trap of Porter and Flynn before overheading to the rolling Nimi, who jams it on Barnes. Staying in this set, and we see how nicely White mixes things up, as the next rendition of this double screening playset sees him get downhill to draw the foul. After a dime and hard take out of that same action, on another possession out of this double screen, White has enough room to let it fly, but a brick off back rim sees Pritchard snag the O board and pitch it back to Derek, who fearlessly flows into another take without having lost confidence after a miss. Watch the combination of athletic chops and defensive timing to stick with Siakam's momentum cross and sweep through before easily swatting a player that's four inches taller than him. In the clutch, even with Toronto shutting down one of his pick and rolls before GTJ plays great ISO defense, White's just gonna hezzy and step back while leaning back Mamba style for a go-ahead triple in traffic. That was followed by White exposing Jalen McDaniels with a tween momentum cross into a Jalen Brown ghost screen by blowing past him, and the Raptors' help defense isn't close to being good enough. D. White is the real deal. I want to know what the biggest piece of impact provided by White is in your opinion. Best answer earns next video shout out, but for today, the Community Speaks winners are set, as now the board resets. But congrats to the five Speaks winners in Christian Wood, FYI Sin, Elijah Woods, Bose, and Michael White. If I don't have it already, leave your handle down in the comments section so I can get in touch with you about the reward. Happy New Year, DFlow signing off.